Welcome back to Crew Kicks, the people's sneaker show. The sneaker show that YouTube deserves. The sneaker show that everyone is loving. Now, I owe you guys so much for taking some time off of Crew Kicks, but I've come back with an episode that is gonna top every single Crew Kicks episode before this one. Today we're gonna be looking at the sneaker collection of the homie Ace. He's one of the Bay Area natives and he's got some pure, pure fire for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not gonna sit here and talk forever because I owe you guys sneakers. So let's go ahead and get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out Ace's collection. My name is Ace, I'm from the Bay Area. I started collecting sneakers when I was 16. Um, I was always into sneakers, but I could never afford it. Um, never got sneakers when I was a kid, and then that's why once I got my first paycheck, uh, just all went, went straight there, and I've been collecting ever since. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, these are just some of my favorite uh, PE pairs, some samples, and some rare pairs that not a lot of people see uh, on a regular basis. Every time I go to uh, sneaker shows, um, Dunk Exchange, Sneaker Con, these are you know, normally the pairs I bring out. Eddie Jones, when he was on the Miami Heat, basically a, uh, a charcoal upper. Um, the only difference is that instead of that suede, it's that patent leather, and it's not that gradient kind of uh, glittery uh, effect. And of course, the number six, uh, Eddie Jones wore number six on the Miami Heat. A lot of people used to think that these were uh, uh, LeBron James PEs because he wore number six, but no, this is way before my uh, LeBron James. This was uh, Eddie Jones. Right here, uh, Chris Paul, he had a six ring before he did a lot with a lot of team shoes. This pair right here, it's a Mike Bibby 8 low top. One of his last PEs before he got traded, his Team Diamond logo, um, the TD, uh, but actually it looks like uh, 010 for his number. Pretty fortunate, this one's actually game worn. Um, wore, the, uh, the, wore out the, uh, the Jumpman, I guess uh, size, what is this, 12 and a half, is it? Yeah, so. Um, from Sacramento. This is a uh, baseball cleat. It's actually one of my first baseball cleats. Jordan Brand actually did one for Andrew Jones um, when he was on the Atlanta Braves. Um, number 25, a little baseball mitt. This is one of his last PEs when he was on the Braves. I was pretty fortunate to pick up a, a Ray Allen set. Ray Allen's one of my uh, favorite Jordan Brand players. I got a little uh, keychain from Flip It SF. Thank you, Brandon, for a little keychain. There was a, uh, a limited edition run from House of Hoop that came out in New York only. Um, the only difference from that pair to, to this pair is the heel portion is actually fully painted black. One of my Nike contacts actually let me know, or told me the reason why this was actually uh, fully painted black was because of the cracking. So the real PE pairs want to crack. The wine green uh, Sugar Ray pair. The Boston Celtics, uh, you know, Ray Allen was part of the infamous big three with Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. Um, size 14, too bad I could never wear it, but it's just, you know, something, it's a treasure to have if you're a, a big Ray Allen fan, so Sugar Ray. This is Juwan Howard, PE, part of the infamous uh, Michigan Five, the Fab Five. He's been on a bunch of teams, but the last team he played on was the Miami Heat. He's now an assistant from Miami Heat, but uh, I don't believe he ever wore this in the in-game. He was supposed to. A lot of people would mistake this as a chrome pair, but the only difference is that uh, it has a playoff um, design. Like if you compare this print as an Aqua 8 print, compared to the playoff print. This pair is one of my special pairs. Carmelo Anthony's pair from the Olympics. It's actually badged 8808. This is the uh, the date that Olympic opening ceremonies were supposed to take place. Actually, it did take place, and he was supposed to wear this pair, embossed leather engraving, which is pretty cool because a lot of the other lasers out there would have the actual laser print um, engraving in there. But this this is the only difference. I mean, the main difference is uh, is the embossed pair. So, I mean, I've seen people out there, Eric out in uh, Chicago, the Flip Jays, he, he has a pair of these, the exact pair, but uh, it has the laser pair. So, I mean, I haven't seen another pair with the embossed pair, so this might be the only one. 45, sample from 1996, Jordan 11. Once I got this, I, I actually kind of stopped, slowed down because I just knew that, you know, there wasn't a lot of other grails to have in the collection after this. Right here, Motorsport 5s. He uh, started getting into uh, bike racing, motorcycle racing. Teamed up with uh, Yamaha uh, Motorsports. I remember seeing pictures of these in Soul Collector. The seller that I actually picked this up from told me that this there wasn't a lot of 13s um, ever created. This might be the only, like, MJ, this might be an MJP because uh, it is a 13. Uh, Encore 4 promo. I remember in a recent interview that Eminem actually uh, admitted that him and his friends actually balled in a bunch of them so um, maybe there's about like 30 and they, they trashed them so maybe about like 30 or so um, in existence now. I've had these for eight or nine years. Personally I, I don't think that this pair is worth 30,000. I mean it's, it's a beautiful pair but I mean if people are willing to pay that you know that's them but I definitely didn't pay 30,000. I didn't pay close to anywhere close to that so. Have you worn those yet or no? Um, I have worn them once. I've worn them in a 
ornament to Donkey Change Las Vegas. You know, uh, there wasn't a lot of Bay Area support out there. I just wanted to, you know, show the Bay Area, uh, or show Las Vegas that um, the Bay Area was in town. So it held up completely great for being a shoe that hasn't been worn for for uh, eight years or so. So beautiful pair, love it. So right here we got the PE5 uh, autographed with the uh, 23 stitch. This is actually my holy grail of the collection. Um, a lot of people would say, you know, like 45s, M&Ms, um, a lot of other OGs that I have. Uh, but no, this is definitely takes the cake. This is a, I've, I've actually searched for a pair of uh, PEs from Jordan for the longest time and when I actually got one, fortunate that it was actually autographed. I mean, just knowing that this pair was touched by the greatest, you know, athlete in the world um, and, you know, blessed to have a signature on there, you know, that's, that's just one of those things that I could never sell, even though that's, it's, uh, you know, eventually everything will, will be sold, but this is one pair that I know that I can never get rid of. What's one PE that you wish or that you're trying to get that you don't have? Uh, one PE uh, that, that, I've, I, that I can never get my hands on actually is a pair of uh, Kobe PEs. It's actually a Jordan PE, Kobe Jordan PE. Either the eights or the threes. Fortunate to see one pair in person actually held it in my hand. Um, uh, Dre, Croatian style out in, uh, out in Project Blitz LA. He has a pair. Um, so if you ever want to sell those, Dre, hit me up. Pendable J, J out in SoCal. That's my, like one of my idols, sneaker idols. Um, he has, you know, the whole the whole uh, um, Shaq and Kobe PE, Jordan PE collection stuff. There are some uh, Mikel Petras PEs from the Warriors. He had a PE8. Um, I think he had a PE5 also. Yeah, he used to wear fives. Also. He used to wear fives. Yeah, Air France, Mikel Petras. He was uh, he played on the Warriors a few years ago. Um, I don't believe he's playing anymore. Um, but yeah, he he was he got a bunch of good P uh, Warrior PEs from being from the Bay Area. Having some more uh, PEs would be great. All right, we checked out some PEs out of uh, my collection. We're gonna check out some OG Jordans that I have, uh, ranging from uh, one to 10. What did I tell you guys? Was that not a great start to the return of Crew Kicks or what? A big thanks to Ace for coming through and showing us his collection, but like I said, we're just getting started. Tune in next Friday for part two of his collection. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy Ace's collection? What was your favorite shoe in his collection so far? Thank you guys for watching, and remember, we wear our sneakers, people. I'm out of here.